Teton's No Escalante is a gem surrounded by some of the most beautiful canyon country in the entire world. Fox 13 News anchor Max Roth went there for the natural beauty and found something a little extra. He joins us live now in studio. I want to hear all about this extra, Max. <laughs> yeah, you know, <clears throat> it's so fun, and it's not like you need an excuse to go to the Escalante area. My son and I went camping there because it's one of our favorite places, and we stumbled on the last day of the Escalante Canyons Art Festival, and I met two of the artists and learned about what they do. How long have you done this? 50 plus years. Yeah. And why did you choose woodcutting? Something about it just captured me. I love Utah. It's one of my favorite because so many parks. I love Zion, Bright Canyon Lands. So I'll go and do a sketch, then transfer that sketch to a block of wood that's, that has a stain on it. And then I will, with a sharp knife, I will cut into the block of wood. This is a campground we're staying in. Every evening, there's amazing sunset. You have to see things in a, in a negative, don't you? Because you're carving the empty spaces. Absolutely. The pigments themselves are crushed from real minerals. If you take the pigments and mix them with oil, it's oil paint. Mm -hmm. Mix it with gum Arabic, it is watercolor. And if you mix it with polymer medium, it's acrylic. Mm -hmm. So this it's like the mother mm -hmm. um, of all pigment. I'm looking at the delicacy of these little cuts here. Uh -huh. How do you achieve that with a knife on wood? I have a set, like I say, a set of gouges, but I also use chisels. And with this wood in this area, I actually scrape sideways. So it makes, mm -hmm. it kind of scrapes into the wood so that the surface um, is a little bit uneven and a little rough. Well, the process is I do have a substrate that is archival sandpaper. It's 400 grit. And do you ever gouge accidentally a big, a big old chunk and, and ruin a woodcut? Hopefully the small chunks. The reason I love this place and would come back is the people are friendly. Mm -hmm. It's not always the case. Um, one of my students will say, do you ever, I feel nervous. I feel kind of scared mm -hmm. uh, to get started. And I say, hey, I feel that way every time because because of the permanence. Mm -hmm. You know, once you carve it, then it's in wood. It's pretty permanent. So those artists are from Aurora, Colorado and Ann Arbor, Michigan, folks from all over the country. The Escalante Canyons Art Festival celebrates 20 years next year. They also have music, workshops and field trips. If you're interested in seeing more of the work of those artists I met, we have their links on this story online. Live in studio, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.